happy you are here. I would be so grateful if you would subscribe by hitting the red and white rectangular subscribe box down below and then tap that bell next to it for notifications so you can be notified each time I post. If you enjoy this, please share it with your friends so we can all read together and learn new things. Now sit down, make yourself comfortable, put your listening ears on so we can all learn together. God's Paintbrush by Sandy Eisenberg Sasso, illustrated by Annette Compton. God's Paintbrush. Sometimes I think the clouds are made of white balls of cotton yarn, God's way of painting pictures in the sky. And then, a big wind comes and blows the pictures away, like a giant eraser. A sunbeam peeked in my window this morning and painted a rainbow on my wall. I think the sunbeam is God's paintbrush, dipped in a watercolor sea painting clouds and coloring our world. What color would you paint the world today? Sometimes I imagine that when it gets very dark at night, the flowers, trees, mountains, and oceans are afraid. I wonder if God made the stars for them to go to bed with and the moon to be their nightlight. When are you afraid? What makes you feel better? Sometimes when the clouds look gray and dark, I think they are angry or sad. And the rain, I think it's God's tears. Sometimes the oceans make giant waves with white foam on the top. I imagine that pleases God and God laughs. When the fizz on my favorite ice cream soda tickles my nose and makes me laugh, maybe it makes God laugh too. What makes you cry and laugh? What do you think would make God cry or laugh? Yesterday, our class played kickball. I fell while running the first base and scraped my knee. It hurt. The school nurse put a bandage over the scrape. In a few days, it was all better. Last month, my best friend had to move away. I was sad. I hurt inside. My dad said we can visit in the summer and we can write letters or call on the telephone when we miss each other a lot. What dad said made me feel better. But when I think of my best friend far away, I still hurt a little. I wonder if God hurts and what might help God feel better. Maybe I could be God's friend. What do you think makes God hurt? How can you be God's friend? My class went on a hike the other day. We climbed to the top of the mountain and I shouted, hello. I heard a voice call back, hello. It sounded like my voice, only far away. 
My teacher said the sound I heard was an echo. It was fun to hear our own voices. We kept calling out and the sound from space kept calling back. I wonder what God's voice sounds like. Is it deep and gruff? Is it soft and gentle? Is it loud or quiet? I think God keeps calling out and maybe we are the sound that calls back. Maybe people are God's echo. How are you God's echo? What does God call us to do? My mom and I went shopping in the city. There in the middle of a crowded department store was a little boy. He was alone and crying. My mom held his hands in hers and took him to a clerk who worked at the store. The clerk made an announcement over the loudspeaker saying that a little boy was lost. Before long, his mom came and gave him a great big hug. My mom hugged me too. I'm not sure why. One of the things I like about my mom is her hands. When I was just a baby, my mom says her hands rocked the cradle so I wouldn't cry. I wonder if God's hands rock the world. How can your hands help God's hands? I have a lot of things that belong to me. They're mine, and I don't like anyone messing with them. Sometimes I think God belongs to me. When I'm surprised or frightened, I say, my God. But then I think, no one can own God. God doesn't belong to anyone. We belong to God. Are there times when you feel like you don't belong? I wonder if God has a big lap to curl up in, just like my mom's, and strong arms, just like dad's, to lift me up and catch me when I fall. I wonder if God has strong hands to hold me tight, just like mom's, and big shoulders, just like dad's, to carry me when I'm tired. What makes you feel safe and warm and loved? Sometimes I like to play hide and seek with my friends. We count to 10 and then start looking. But today my friends got tired of looking and went away before they found me. I felt very lonely. On Monday, I broke my mom's vase. I was scared. I hid behind the large sofa in our living room. Mom came home. I was glad when she found me I felt lonely all by myself. Sometimes I think God hides and we don't want to look for God because we are too busy or too afraid. God must feel terribly lonely then too. Where would you look for God? When the wind blows warm, making grass, trees, and flowers dance, it makes my hair brush against my face. I think the wind is God's breath moving through the world, making it come alive. I think that God's breath moves through me too. That makes me special, having a little bit of God inside me. That makes everyone special having God's breath inside of them. We can make words and music with God's breath. What kind of words and music does God's breath make?
Walking home this afternoon, I heard the wind whistle, a dog bark, a bird chirp, a baby cry. All these sounds, some soft, some loud, they are God's song. If you sang a song to God, what would you sing? When I go to bed at night, I sleep on cool cotton sheets. I hold a soft, furry teddy bear very close. My mom gives me a big kiss and her cheeks feel warm and soft. My dad gives me a big hug and his face feels scratchy but good. All those good feelings, I think, are God's touch. What does God's touch feel like to you? How can you help God touch the world? The world revolves around the sun. The planets spin far out in space. Stars sparkle and meteors shoot light through the sky. I think they are God's dance. God's way of keeping the world turning. When I help a friend, when I make someone smile, I think I am part of God's dance. Can you dance God's dance? What would it look like? My tooth fell out last night. My parents said that it was in order to make room for my new one. I didn't really like losing it, even though I found a dollar under my pillow in its place. I wonder if the trees mind losing their leaves in the fall, or if the snow mines when it melts to make room for spring. I think God paints the leaves bright colors in the fall and makes the sun warm in spring because God likes changes. God likes the world to grow. How are you changing? How are you growing? Sometimes I think God is just like my dad when he holds the back seat of my new two-wheel bicycle, just long enough for me to catch my balance. Then he lets go, and I ride all by myself. But it's nice to know he's running right alongside me. Sometimes I think God is just like my mom, when she helps me look both ways in crossing the street, and then lets me go all by myself but it's nice to know she's still watching me at the corner. What makes you feel big enough to do something all by yourself for the very first time? My friend is great at math. She always gets 100 on her tests. My brother is captain of his baseball team. He always gets home runs. Sometimes when I get lots of red X's all over my math paper, I think I'd like to be just like my friend. When I get up to bat and strike out, I think I'd like to be just like my brother. But then I think, I enjoy gymnastics. I can do one-handed cartwheels. I am glad to be me. Perhaps God gave each of us a special gift that makes us different from anyone else. And when we share that gift, God is happy. What is your gift? How do you share your gift? Today, our school went for a hike. The sky looked like a lemon meringue pie. The fields of flowers seemed like layers of orange, red, and purple jelly beans. The vines looked just like a giant jump rope and the hills like big slippery slides. The branches of the trees made a fantastic jungle gym. 
I wonder if God likes lemon meringue pie and jelly beans just like me. Sometimes my parents tell me to eat more green vegetables and fewer jelly beans. Maybe they are right, but I still like pink lemonade jelly beans the best. I wonder if God likes to play. Sometimes grown-ups don't want to play because they are too busy or too tired. I think that makes God sad. I think God likes me to play. Who is in your favorite playground? How do you play in God's playground? In September, a new boy came to school. During recess, nobody picked him for the soccer team. At lunch, he ate all by himself. What I remember most about him were his eyes. They looked sad. My teacher had us all do a mural one day. The new boy helped me draw a lion. He is a great artist. Maybe we will be friends. My teacher watched us working together. What I remember most about my teacher were her eyes. They looked happy. I wonder if God has eyes. If so, they must be just like my teachers. They see when people are sad or happy. If you saw the world through God's eyes, what would you see? Sometimes on a bright day when I close my eyes real tight, I see all kinds of colors, green and purple and red and blue. I think these are just like God's colors. I know God's colors are in me too, and I can paint with God's paintbrush. 